वन पी एम पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असल दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाई सुखैना अब्बास फर्स्ट हेडलाइन पॉलिसी इनिशिएटिव टेकन बाई स्पेशल इन्वेस्टमेंट फेसिलिटेशन काउंसिल आर लिविंग पॉजिटिव इम्पैक्ट ऑन बिजनेस इन्वायरमेंट इन द कंट्री एंटी पोलियो वैक्सीनेशन कैंपेन ऑफ वेवी ड्यूरेशन इज अंडर वे अक्रॉस कंट्री इन इंडियन इलीगली ऑक्यूपाइड जम्मू एंड कश्मीर मोदी लेड इंडियन रिजीम हैज फर्दर इंटेंसिफाइड रिस्ट्रिक्शन अहेड ऑफ वोट काउंटिंग इन आई सी सी मैंस टी ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर श्रीलंका विल टेक ऑन साउथ अफ्रीका एट न्यू यॉर्क टूडे नाउ द न्यूज इन डिटेल policy initiatives on the part of special investment facilitation council are leaving a positive impact on the business environment in country under policy measures visa policy has been revised by removing unnecessary barriers which has increased the confidence of foreign investors national seed development and regulatory authority has been set up to provide high quality seeds to farmers which will ensure increase in crop production A comprehensive policy has been prepared to enable export of seafood to other countries through which fish and other products will be processed according to international standards. Due to the facilitation of the SIFC, the country was able to implement a national space policy. A very duration anti-polio vaccination campaign began across the country today. During the campaign, anti-polio vaccine will be administered to children under 5 years of age. Mobile teams of health department will go door to door to ensure that no child is left without vaccination. Custodian of the two holy mosques in Saudi Arabia, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud will host 2322 Hajj pilgrims from around the world including Pakistan. Radio Pakistan's correspondent in Mecca, Bilal Khan Masood, reports that under the guests program for Hajj, these include 1,300 pilgrims from more than 88 countries. It is noteworthy that 1,000 pilgrims have been invited from the families of the martyrs, prisoners, and wounded Palestinians, and 22 from the families of conjoined twins who underwent successful surgical separation in the kingdom. The fifth and last special flight of the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa government carrying stranded Pakistanis from Bishkek has reached Peshawar. A total of 287 Pakistanis including students of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Punjab, Sindh and Azad Kashmir reached Peshawar airport. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the Modi led Indian regime has further intensified restrictions across all districts and towns ahead of the vote counting tomorrow. According to chief election officer the security setup includes local police central armed paramilitary forces and strict entry protocols Meanwhile Indian troops have launched a cordon and search operation in Pulwama district The troops sealed all entry and exit points and fired several shots triggering panic in the area In India the Congress party has dismissed exit polls as bogus and a deliberate attempt to justify election rigging. In a statement Congress General Secretary J Ram Ramesh criticized Prime Minister Modi's several meetings including a long brainstorming session to review the new government's 100 day agenda. He called these actions pressure tactics aimed at signaling to the bureaucracy and administrative structure that Modi is returning to power. In Gaza, at least 22 Palestinians have been martyred in overnight attacks by Israeli forces in different parts of besieged strip. Over 36,400 Palestinians have been martyred and more than 80,600 wounded in Israel's war on Gaza since October 7. World Bicycle Day is being observed today. The theme of this year is promoting health, equity and sustainability through cycling. The day draws attention to the benefits of using bicycle which is a simple affordable clean and environmentally fit sustainable means of transportation. In the ICC Men's T20 World Cup 2024 Sri Lanka will take on South Africa at New York today. The match will start at 1:30 in the evening. 
in FIH Hockey Nations Cup, Pakistan will take on Canada at Gniezno in Poland today. The match will start 30 minutes past 2 in the afternoon. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link Radio Pakistan News Official.